Morning, guys. Welcome back to our channel. We are still in Tokyo, Japan. We're going to go to 7-Eleven to try to buy the sumo wrestling tickets for the November uh, sumo wrestling event down in uh, Fu Fukuoka. Fukuoka. Uh, let's hope that works right. We're going to try to mm -hmm. see if we can reserve uh, some uh, a cruise for like a, a sunset cruise or a dinner cruise. We don't know if the boats are running right now. And we're going to go to the south tower of the government building uh, to go up to the observation deck because there's many observation decks in Tokyo and that one's free and that's our price. And we're going to go see Tokyo from up above. All right, guys, so come along with us today in our day in Tokyo. <laughs> well, we just left the room, but it's already lunchtime and we found some Japanese food trucks. Ooh, Tex-Mex in Japan. That might be the ticket. I got to see what their idea of Tex-Mex food is. Absolutely. In order the food, this machine. So now we're waiting to see what we got. So we decided to start the day with lunch and we found Tex-Mex in Japan. Let's see. So this one is chicken with rice and a little salad, some guac and some salsa. And that is mine and it looks good. It looks pretty good. And Let's I got this yours. steak. And both of these together were 1,700 uh, yen. yen. <laughs> 1,700 yen. Which, which is, is like, like 12, dollars, 12 13 dollars. Yeah. It looks pretty tasty. We're going to dig in. The food is pretty good. Let's see better. What do you think? Very good. It's like a Southwest salad with steak on top, brown rice of all things. No, maybe it is white rice, I'm not sure. A little guacamole, a little uh, cabbage salad. Enjoy. All he needs is a tortilla. Enjoy. Well, we had the first fail of the morning. Try to get our sumo tickets at 7-Eleven. And it's not that you buy them there, but you can print them there. That's the official printing spot if you buy them online. And to buy them online, you have to sign up for the website. And to do that, you have to be able to write your name in Japanese. <laughs> I can't do that. So we're gonna try again tomorrow, ask the concierge at our hotel to help us out. And we're gonna see if something else goes right today. This is the little like day boat cruise terminal area here. And we're gonna go see if we can take a day boat. This passenger terminal was for like dinner cruises and sunset cruises, but it's not. It's like the harbor cruise terminal that you can grab uh, ferry boats out to all these islands out in the Tokyo Bay. And we don't have time for that anymore, so <laughs> that's strike two for today. So to go to Oshima, the second class is 5,000 and the first class is 10,000. That's like 70 bucks. I think if we would have walked here on the first day, we might have had time to uh, just gone out to one of these little islands just for the fun of it. Oh well, on to the next thing today. We did Goodbye. yesterday, we went to an island. Oh yeah, we did. We went to that little island we keep that, huh? So we could walk out on too. So now I guess we're gonna go try to find the government building to go to government the observation building. deck. All right. Government building it is. We <laughs> wanna see Tokyo from up above. All right, two strikes. Let's see if we get a third strike this morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, we made it to the government buildings here, but the public observation deck is only on the top of one of them. We were told it's the South Tower, but on the sign it just says government building number two or government building number one. But one of them has something listed as an observatory. But all the buildings around us, they are very interesting. They're really cool. The architecture here in downtown Tokyo is absolutely beautiful. All right. Let's see if we can find the observation deck and see if it translated as observatory, maybe? So this is the main government building here in Tokyo, and it is absolutely a beautiful building with beautiful design. And we're gonna go on level 45. And we're hoping right here is the public observatory deck. Well, I'm guessing that's it. The observatories in the South Tower. There's a bag check, so I'm gonna put you down to not record security. You made it to the observation deck. 
since you're in a government building, you gotta keep these masks on, right, babe? Yes. Let's go take a look at the view here. Wow. It's quite the view. Great view of Tokyo City. Huge. This is that large park we went to the other day and found the festival there. I think New York City is big and then you come to Tokyo. It's just skyscrapers in every direction. Chris found to play with. <laughs> Stop playing in the gift shop. Time to leave the observatory deck. All right, we just left the government building where we're checking out the observation deck, really cool. And we noticed about a mile away is the National Garden here in Tokyo. So we're gonna take a short walk over there and go check that out. Yes, we, we like all the gardens. So the Japanese garden, rose garden, we must see. Hopefully it's open. Google Map tells me it closes at four, but hopefully only maybe certain aspects of it do. But the, the observation point was great. Mm, we the love deck. it. We can see the Tokyo from up there, and I didn't expect to be that big. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not sure how, but somehow we found the signs to go to the National Garden, leading off this way. It's like a whole underground city under all the roads with shops and restaurants and bars and they're all interconnected with the rail line and the subway system. Oh, it seems extraordinarily confusing, but really we've only taken the wrong train once, I think, right babe? Hi baby. Hi baby. What do you think about this place? You know, every time you think you're on the ground level, you look below you and there's another floor underneath you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we made it to the National Garden. Looks absolutely beautiful. It is giant on the map. I'm sure, it's giant in real life too. There's a Japanese garden here. There's a rose garden. Looks like there's a entrance fee. So let's go uh, find out. All right, here's the map of the National Garden. Uh, when we entered, they say they closed at four, but let's hopefully that the last ticket sales at four. Otherwise, we only have a half hour to enjoy the park. Uh, first place we're going to go is to the Japanese garden to make sure we go see that and then we'll figure out from there. It's crazy, just a quarter mile back we are in the center of a giant city bigger than New York and now we're in a densely forested park. It's absolutely beautiful, I love it. It's like uh, Tokyo has like five or six parks the size of Central Park. And I'm sure I'm going to love the Japanese garden and the tea house and the rose garden and the smell here you cannot yes. 
it's crazy i feel like we went like deep into the countryside or something like and that they here. have an area where they have just the cherry blossom mm, but i don't think they're in bloom it's not now. the time of year we're gonna be lucky if we see some roses but there's a chrysanthemum field for the like that's the big thing in japan they do like award-winning chrysanthemum like we saw some at the um at the shrine, at the, shrine the buddhist the buddhist statue yesterday look at this you can see all the chrysanthemums there's some more over there this is in the japanese garden it's absolutely beautiful it's like i have a fairy tale look at that baby except they cut the trees tall enough for people under 5'8 and that's it <laughs> Beautiful garden, beautiful farm. Here is Ben on the other side. It's silver grass in here. And we're gonna go to find the rose garden now. Absolutely a wonderful park. Everybody just laying out, enjoying the sunset, relaxing, right in the heart of Tokyo. Tell you what, just walking around Tokyo, you feel like the people that live here have a much better sense of community. They seem, I don't know, everybody here is just happy and lounging. Maybe it's because we're in a park. the National Garden now we only had time to see maybe a third of it we didn't know it closed so early and in truth we just got a late start to the day so it's about 4 30 now as you can see it's already sunset and we're gonna move over to a part of town called Ginzo it's known Ginza. Ginza it's known for its shops and its nightlife and its bars and we're gonna see if we can find one of those rotating sushi restaurants to go eat at Right, or a maid cafe, robot cafe. I like this building behind me. Oh, they have the stairs up. Yeah, that's not the one. The oh, other one. which one? That one. This one? Oh, they yeah, got a little staircase like out. I like this one. It's all the red brick. Every, every it's very funny. Like, all these buildings are all completely different that line the park on this side. We have found Godzilla Square. And there's the man, the myth, the legend himself, Godzilla, the king of all beasts. <laughs> all right, it was way too hard to find this Godzilla statue. I thought it would be <laughs> way bigger, but it's still pretty cool. Some weird museum display thing we found. It's like a uh, what it's like to be a horse VR display. Sort of interesting. We didn't try much of it out. We're getting hungry. I think we're gonna go try to find some food. Want to try to find the, the conveyor belt restaurant? Ooh, that would be cool. All right, let's go see if we can find one of those. All right, we've been walking around for a long time and we found an Irish bar, so we're gonna go see how this goes. So we got our food. Chris got the chicken wing basket, actually, so it looks like. Are they just like chicken pieces? Yes. Yeah, little chicken bites. 
So we, we already fries, need the fries. Uh, my pizza, and we are ready to dig in. It looks pretty good.